Hi everybody, Ko here with another playthrough this time of Baldur's Gate 3. I've played this game once right when it came out. I really enjoyed it. Uh, since I have played, it has had a lot of cook time, a lot of patches. It has grown and become more girthy. And frankly, it is a good time and it is time for me to return to this game for a very special run. Now, man, that music is so epic. The big thing we're gonna be doing differently this run is for one of the first times ever for me we are doing something called honor mode honor mode is an intense campaign recommended for experienced players there are stronger bosses stricter rule set single save file you cannot reload older saves in honor mode if events go awry your choices and consequences always stick if your entire party is defeated your honor mode run will end. However, you will still be able to continue your adventure in custom mode should you desire, but finishing it will not count as finishing honor mode. Now, before we begin, let me let me let some folks know. Let me let me say this in a way that the people in the back can hear as well. I am not planning on beating honor mode. And I am saying that as a mantra to myself. And let me tell you why. If I wanted to to beat honor mode, then I would do a specific run with specific classes. I would not do dark urge. I would, I would have a path planned out. Like if I, if I wanted to beat honor mode, I would approach it as a challenge. That being said, I've decided to approach honor mode with dark urge with a class that I'm not familiar with because I think it will be hilarious. So I'm going in with the intentions of failing and that way, when it does inevitably happen, I will not be frustrated or angry. I'll just keep playing. So I, I feel like if I went in with the mindset of I need to beat this, then when I inevitably die, I will get frustrated and want to quit. But I am not doing that. I'm going in with the expectation of failure. <laughs> so that that is what we're doing. Now, to be clear though, because somebody asked this earlier, when I inevitably die in honor mode, we will continue the playthrough and we will continue with the no save scum rules. So that is the plan. That is the plan. Yeah. And then we'll just die a whole bunch and it'll be terrible. So yeah, join me on this run. It's gonna be a thing. Isn't Ko's dark urge to save scum? Yes. And, and also somebody asked, are we gonna let all the story stuff play out? We absolutely are. There's a good chance a lot of people will be seeing this for the first time through this run, so we'll be still exploring all the dialogue and letting all the cutscenes play and all that stuff. I know exactly what to expect. Still creep me out. Yep. Who are you? Okay. Custom character. So we'll come we'll come back to race. We'll come back to race. I want to play a monk. 
And... Oh, man. I have no clue. Oh, click Dark Urge first. Oh, here we go. Good call. Yeah. Um... So this is this is where we're gonna need to to talk a little bit, Jack, because I I want to play a super strong monk, but I'm not sure what classes I want to do to do that. You said Dragonborn, yeah, Dragonborn could be cool. Yeah, we're gonna do away the fist monk. That's the plan, and or an, an open palm or whatever it's called. Um. Can I play the Dark Urge Introduction? Oh, sure. My rancid blood whispers to me, kill, kill, and kill again. My ruined body yearns to reap death in this world. And when this foul urge calls, it possesses my whole being. Injured, beyond repair. I know nothing besides this. I must resist the dark urge, lest it consume my mind. I must discover who I was and what happened to me before my twitching knife hand writes a tragedy in blood. Dude. Oh, I want to play that character. That sounds, that's like, he seems super kind of remorseful almost. <laughs> that looks hilarious. I love it. Oh, you have to be the haunted one? Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, no, 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 we're, 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 I've, yeah, somebody earlier said, have you decided to give in or fight the Dark Urge? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I was, my original intention was like an evil run and give in, but I, I don't know if we're going to, we're, I think we're going to kind of like, you know, figure it out, figure it out. I kind of like the idea of a half orc. They seem very, oh yeah, it's based on class, isn't it? Okay. So the idea is that we're gonna go uh, Tavern Brawler. So I think for that, we're gonna want as much strength as we can get, right? Like strength and con, maybe? Or maybe we want something else. And I'm gonna be such a dummy. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're gonna respec it. Uh, we're gonna be respecking when we get Tavern Brawler. Maybe I should start with Dex, and then we'll respec when we get Tavern Brawler. Maybe we should do that. Mm -mm. Yeah, let's do that. Do that. All right. Do I want a Strength Monk build? I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think we're gonna do a, a Tavern Brawler Strength Monk eventually. So. I don't want to do, uh, for the record, I don't want to do the strength elixir thing. I know that I know that there's a way that we can farm elixirs of hill giant strength and then use those all the time so we don't have to worry about our strength skill. I don't really want to do that. Yeah. I don't really want to do that. That's a, that's a bit much for me. Where to next? Hmm. What was... Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells, something just woke up down here. That's pretty good. Hmm. I don't know if I want to be an orc, though. But I, I mean, I guess... Character's name, The Dark Urge. Wow. Is that what you want? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I want. 
could be like a wood elf. Movement speed is increased by 1.5 meters. That could be awesome. Yeah, let's do that. Do that. Work is strong. Yeah. We could also be a dwarf. Dragonborn full thrust. I like it. Drow is the best. Drow is the best one for lore. I think so. Drow is good with darker. I mean, Drow is pretty badass. Let's do Drow. We'll do a Selendrine Drow. Yeah. <laughs> It feels weird not seeing a drow. Let's do it like that. Oh, there we go. That looks good. Oh, do some red eyes. Yeah. Oh, we should. Okay. Get a Geralt thing going on. Badass. We're now kicking people in the face. Yeah, man. Okay. I think we're good, chat. I think we're good. Oh, let's make sure our stats stayed. Um. Yeah, we'll start with this. Now, this this ability this assigned bonus here. When I respect, can I change the assigned bonus? Yes. Okay. Great. All right, chat. I need to not overthink it. We're doing it live. You need to guard him. I do. Dude, the randomized appearances are so good. I can't. I can't. I, I, I would not be able to take anything that that person says seriously ever. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Oh, that would have been so good. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is with that one stash that keeps coming back? Oh, my God. <laughs> the the full was good too. That was good too. Right. Let's see. Man, what's funny is the very first option before I randomized was like one of the best. There we go. It looks pretty good. Yeah, there it is. All right, we'll go with that. That looks great. Looks great. Yeah. It fits. Morning, Bowman. That's how I open my windows in the morning, too. Bruce Almighty style.
so good. Uh, quick note, by the way, chat, just want to make this super clear for those of you who are going to be watching this on Twitch with me. Um, please do not spoil anything in chat. Only talk about things that have been done this playthrough, please. There's a lot of people that have never seen this game before. This will be the first time they've seen it. So even minor stuff, if we haven't done it on the stream, please don't spoil it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. got missed. in your head thrums and pounds that pounding blood obscures who you are an overwhelming loss of memory how you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden you have nothing in your skull besides your name and a headache but you are in danger take a deep breath shake your head and start anew time to get out of here and then you can shed light on the dark of the matter of yourself. Oh, my head. Oh, I can still have five. Can I load? Oh! Oh, God, it hurts. Moving in. Okay. Okay. Someone else got out. Where the hells are we? All right, let's see. Maybe I'll actually use consumables this round. <laughs> no. Uh, uh. Getting loot. That loot. Visions project into your mind. A nautiloid hurtling through the plains, resplendent with psionic energy. I'm resplendent with psionic energy. You know it. Let's see what this does. The pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Investigate the pool. Some dialogue options require a skill check. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Reach it. Okay. 
Whoops! Oh no! All those poor mind flare parasites. Dead. Good. Whatever will we do? Lucky I made it out. Like the other survivors. So how does saving in iron or in honor mode work? Do I still need to hit F5? Or does it I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah. It's auto saves only. Oh, so I can go ahead and just hit F5 to save. Okay. Odd. I feel better. You only have 10 hit points. I might have made a huge mistake. Um. How far did I play the, the last time? I did a hundred percent run of this game last time. So we, we did everything there was to do in a single run. Literally everything. Every quest, every location. Images of goblins, their habits everything. and histories flash into your mind. Now, of course, this game is, is massive to the point where everything can never be done in one run. So we'll have plenty of new stuff to see this run. I still haven't decided how I'm gonna play this character. I'm going to kind of feel it out a little bit and see where it goes. A schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as ship. Worlds beyond worlds flash before your eyes. Empires of a grand design traversed by ships just like this. Mind flayer horticulture. A thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. Oh, oh this is going to be a thing. Uh, lock on. That's the primary plan of the playthrough, yes. Yes. You've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. Please. Before they return. They return. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You know no creature like this. One that is more brain than person. You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. Look at the eye. Tears streaming down the face. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Inspect the inspo uh, exposed brain. Ah! Oh, it hurts! Oh, God, it hurts. Oh. Uh, pain. Apart from this strange context, you notice nothing unusual about the brain. Gently prize the brain from the skull. Oh my god. brain won't budge oh I can only destroy it now don't leave us please don't please don't leave us 
Should I destroy it or leave it? Am I using karmic dice? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I can come back later? I will try that. I'll try that. I'm not going to destroy it yet. But we will before. We'll, we'll take a look before we leave. Doesn't do anything. Yeah, maybe when we get more uh, more people, we can come back and try with them or something. Yeah. So good. I remember when we did this in our first playthrough, there were a lot of bugs in this area and a lot of weird clipping and stuff. It looks like they fixed all of it. of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <gasps> My head. What is this? <sighs> Squaw. You are no thrall. Flacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flare parasites. Unless we escape. Unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be Geich, Mind Flayers. We're turning into Mind Flayers? There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the pits. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Okay. My son has been streaming this for two weeks. He's now trying to make it through honor mode. He's on run four. Oh man, give him our best, Arch. Funny story. So there's a uh, a guy that we we um, heard of and and we 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 kind of met during our course of the BG3 pre stuff before the game came out. His name is Wolfheart, and uh, I was cruising around the internet a couple nights ago, and I saw a clip. And he died on honor mode on the very last boss. And he died to like an instant kill mechanic. He died, he died. What happened was like his character was hasted. The boss had a hit left, but then he walked through haste spores, which reapplied haste. And when it did that, he became lethargic for a second, because that's what happens when you lose haste. It bumped his turn past the bosses, and then the boss went and killed him. It was like it was like a perfect storm of horrible things. <laughs> so he literally died in honor mode, a single hit from beating it. I don't know if he went again, but I hope he did. I hope you win again. Okay, so first we're gonna punch and see what do we got. We got three enemies total. Um, let's do this. Cutting to the chase. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, can I? I don't have enough for this. Can I do this? That makes me so hot. What I just saw. So hot. Uh, okay. I'm so hot right now. 